Topping the news tonight, community members gathered at the Marquette City Commission meeting to voice their concerns over the way funds are being used at Lakeview Arena. Local 3's Corinne Griffith joins us in the studio with the details. Corinne? In 2016, Marquette's Lakeview Arena was named Hockeyville USA, and with that title came a prize of $150,000 to be used for upgrades to the arena. But some community members are concerned that the money isn't being spent on necessary improvements. Um, our purpose in coming here tonight is to hear directly from the city, even though it's not on the agenda, uh, what plans are for Lakeview and what the Hockeyville money will be spent on and, and when it will be spent. Just doing the smallest little things, changing out the concession area, so that you have flat tables that when you put a drink down on it, it doesn't tip over. Kids can sit there and do their homework there. And this is how we're representing to all of these people who come into our city. And they ask me, how's it going, what are you doing? And I can't say anything. I, we try to just updo the concession area, as she mentioned, and for some reason, there's a fight to do it. All we want is some stuff in that arena that will make it look like we won Hockeyville, because we did. While no aesthetic changes have yet been made to Lakeview, the city says major upgrades have been made. So $3.5 million to the Johnson Controls Initiative on things that you don't really see too much. Uh, probably the biggest visible thing would be the lighting throughout the facility, um, but all new compressors, all new cooling towers, all new pumps, and, uh, things that are really going to help to bring this facility you know, into the future and reduce our maintenance costs and really reduce our, our power and utility costs. So those were some big improvements, including the HVAC, the flat roof, and some of the insulation there and um, a bunch of really good stuff that we got off the table. Now we're looking at prioritizing what's left and coming up with really what's going to be the best bang for the buck um, for the folks that use that facility every day. Things that they can point to and say, I helped make that happen. Because this item was not on the agenda for tonight, no decisions or discussion occurred. Reporting in studio, I'm Corinne Griffith, Local 3 News.